Am I irredeemable? That's a question I wanted to ask because that's how I, that's because that's what I'm starting to feel like. Am I becoming irredeemable in the eyes of God? The reason I'm asking that is because I've sinned. I've sinned a lot. And no matter how much I pray, I always continue to sin. The same kind of sin that I've been exposed to most of my life. I've been exposed to lust and frankly, I regret ever being curious about it or ever being exposed in the first place. Worst part is I enjoy it a lot. It's not long after do I find out what I do I realize what I've been doing and now I'm just full filled with regret afterwards. Now, I'm not going to lie, there's lots of other people like this, like me, who feel the same way if I no longer say it because of how I am, because I continue to sin, even after all the prayers, after begging to God for, to forgive me. It feels like I can only do so much before it, come, it's because, before it starts to become too late and I'm no longer redeemable. I'm basically stuck. I'm stuck in a loop between sinning and praying. It makes me feel like a lukewarm Christian. Now for those of you who do not know what a lukewarm Christian is, it's basically someone who has one foot in the world and one foot in the church. Now that doesn't sound so bad except for one thing. God is disgusted by lukewarm Christians. He could wish that we were no cold or hot. What does it mean to be cold or hot? It means, well, for to be hot, huh? you have to be understandable, des desirable, and to be cold, it's basically saying, you know, spiritually dead inside. Now, God isn't asking us to be cold, but he's basically wanting us to be not lukewarm, all right? And that's what I want to be. I don't want to see myself as a lukewarm Christian, and I'm betting others do as well. I'm hoping that people realize that they are sinners and in need of a Savior, and that Savior is our, is our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. He suffered on the cross so that we could be saved, so that we could be free of the sins that we've committed. We're all sinners, so it's bound to happen, all right? But eventually we reach that point in time where we feel like we are now becoming uncurable of our sins. It'll start to feel as if God is turning a death ear to us. He will no longer hear our prayers because our sins are becoming incurable, that we have become irredeemable. And I just want to know, there are many people out there who say that people like me have the Holy Spirit inside them that is working through us to spread messages like these, to help spread the Word of God, to help keep their faith strong. I like to believe that I do have this Holy Spirit in me. I, I just don't feel so convinced. I only pray that others will be more convinced than I am. And such, I ask again, am I irredeemable? Because I have sinned a lot, and I will continue to sin. I will not deny that. I will not deny that it's inevitable that I will still continue to sin. No matter how much I pray, I will continue. And I, I wish it were possible to live without sin. If I would never have exposed myself to all the lustful, abominable things that I've seen, would my life be entirely different and I would, be a, I would feel like a whole different person, way much for the better. I would feel warm. I would feel hot. I wouldn't feel like a lukewarm Christian. I would be taking my faith uh, 10 times more seriously than it is. If it were possible to live without sin, the world would be a better place. And thus I pray to everybody. I pray to the Lord for everyone's sake that we turn from our wicked ways, that we have faith, that we watch and pray for our Lord and Savior. Because knowing the times we're living in, it is urgent that we start praying for forgiveness, for mercy. And that's what I continue to do. Even if I feel like I'm becoming incurable of my sins, if I'm becoming irredeemable, 
I will never stop losing faith. Now, most of you will probably ask the same question. Am I irredeemable? You may feel like no. You may feel yes. It's up to you, really. As long as you have faith, as long as you have the Holy Spirit residing in you, as long as you know that it as long as you know that the Holy Spirit is within you, know that you are still redeemable. Know that you are saved because you hold on to faith. Because you are praying and watching for our Lord and Savior. I pray that this message gets out there. I pray that people will ask the same question. I pray that they will get their answer. So keep watching, everybody. Keep watching and praying for our Lord and Savior's return. Savior's return. Pray that you are redeemable, that you are curable of your sins. Stand fast in the faith. Win the spiritual battle, if it's not already won, thanks to our Lord. God bless you all.